Welcome friends, like, share and subscribe for more videos. In diesel engines, only air is sent into the combustion chamber during induction. This air is compressed during the compression stroke and towards the end of compression stroke, fuel is injected by the fuel injection system into the cylinder, just before the desired start of combustion. Liquid fuel is injected at high velocities as one or more jets through small orifices or nozzles in the injector tip. The fuel atomizes into small droplets and penetrates into the combustion chamber, the droplets vaporize and mix with with high temperature and high pressure cylinder air. Since the air temperature and pressure are above the fuel's ignition point, Spontaneous ignition of portions of already mixed fuel and air occurs after a delay period of a few crank angle degrees. The cylinder pressure increases as combustion of fuel-air mixture occurs. Combustion of compression ignition is taking place in four distinct stages. First, ignition delay period. Second, rapid or uncontrolled combustion. Third, controlled combustion. Fourth, after burning. The period between the start of fuel injection into the combustion chamber and the start of combustion is termed as ignition delay period. Start of injection can be determined by a needle lift indicator to record the time when injector needle lifts off its seat. Both physical and chemical processes must take place before a significant fraction of the chemical energy of the injected liquid fuel is released. The physical processes are, atomization of the liquid fuel jet, vaporization of the fuel droplets, mixing of the fuel vapor with air. The chemical processes are the pre-combustion reactions of the fuel, air and residual gas mixture which lead to auto-ignition. Chemical delay is more effective for the duration of the ignition delay period. Rapid or uncontrolled combustion will follow the ignition. In this second stage the pressure rise is rapies because during delay period the fuel droplets have had time to spread over a wide area and they have fresh air all around them. Due to this the rate of heat relaxé is very large. It is counted from end of delay period to the point of maximum pressure on indicator diagram. Second stage of uncontrolled combustion is followed by third stage that is controlled combustion. At the end of second stage the temperature and pressure inside the combustion chamber are so high that the fuel droplets injected during the last stage burn almost as they enter and any further pressure rise can be controlled by the injection rate. Theoretically it is expected that combustion process should end after the controlled combustion. However, because of poor distribution of the fuel particles, combustion continues part of remainder of the expansion stroke. This fourth stage of combustion is called as after burning. Physical factors affecting ignition delay. Intake air temperature and pressure. Engine speed. Combustion chamber design. Swirl rate. Oxygen concentration. Cetane number of fuel.